Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bournemouth game, the Carabao Cup match, um, taking place at the Etihad Stadium, third round tie. Um, I'm Lewis, and above me is Jordan. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button with the notification bell turned on. We've already smashed past 10,000, so let's just aim for 11, innit? Because it makes sense to go for the next. <laughs> just keep hitting the next milestone. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, easy, quick goals, innit? But yeah, thanks a lot for all your support. Yeah, you guys have been smashing it, so thanks very much. Uh, smash a like on the video as well if you do like the video. Helped the City fans find the channel. Um, so yeah, let's, let's go. We're going to change the style slightly for this game because Pep's already come out and said... Um, that basically he's, he's making loads of changes. So we've not done predicted lineup, and we're not really going to do predicted score because you know without the lineup, we don't know what's going to happen. Like he said, he's going to play a lot of the academy players, and if that happens, you know, and we're we, done out here. <laughs> we might be done, and I ain't predicting City ever getting beat. So we we we'll skip that. So what we're going to do? We're going to have a look at four players that we're excited to see uh, play for City that we believe will will make um, a. You know, an appearance against Bournemouth. So, um, why don't you start off? Yeah. So, first on the list is a a big hype man for everyone. Everyone's very excited about this guy's future. Uh, mm. It's Liam Delap, uh, and he does look really, really, really good. Um, mm. The video is like, I don't want to speak too soon, in it, but he does kind of look the way he moves about and stuff. He, he he's like a Harlan kind of player. So it's like we have our, our very own Harlan. Comparisons are happening already. He's not even played a game yet. <laughs> he's like our very own Harlan, who's like in the mix. You know what mm. I mean, City was like, oh, we can't pay for Harlan, so we'll engineer one. We've mm. like molded this guy into one. Sugar spice and everything nice. Do you not think it's mad how we're throwing him into this game? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it, brother. <laughs> For those that don't get that reference, it's obviously Rory Delap's son in it. And Rory Delap had like some mad throws. So Do you remember them throws? Yeah, it was like a corner. Do you remember actually when we played against Stoke and um, this this is this is way off, but we played against Stoke once and um, City moved the advertising. Yeah, really boards, close, didn't they? Yeah, closer to the pitch so that he couldn't like get a massive run up. But yeah. Um, Sorry about that joke. That, that was really, really bad. <laughs> feel, you feel free bad? to click off the video right now if you want. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I'm excited to see this guy. Guy's been banging goals in for the academy side. Um, City have obviously, and Peps have seen seen him training for the academy and seen his goals and his uh, performances for the academy. And, and obviously, he's warranted a, a place, at least training with the first team, and apparently he's doing well. So absolutely, City should be playing um, Liam Delap in this game uh, whether they start him or bring him up I, I'm not too fussed I actually would start him for the simple reason is that Aguero's still, in, still injured so at this moment yeah. in time we only have one striker available and that's uh, Jesus so why would you play him in this game on one hand you could say play him get him some confidence if he can get a couple of goals but he's good at, he's good against Wolves um, and to be honest you know you've got to just be selfish here and say look we need Jesus to, to be fit because Aguero's not here. Uh, and therefore, this is a perfect opportunity. Timing is perfectly right. And to be honest, it sounds to me like Pep's getting a bit bored of the Carabao. You know, run it, what, three times on the trot. No one else really takes it properly seriously like us. So, yeah, absolutely. I'm willing this year to sort of sacrifice the Carabao, play the kids. Let's see some young uh, City players come through and see, see how they perform. Especially with the, fi the fixture congestion that's going to happen exactly. this season. And that's why I'm willing to sacrifice it. And let's, let's focus on the Prem and let's focus on the Champions League. Yeah, yeah. So, moving on from Lundell up there, next on the list is uh, the opposite end of the pitch. It's uh, Zach Steffen. Uh, mm. I'm really excited to see this guy. Uh, there's a lot of hype surrounding him. The guy's, he's from America, right? Yeah, yeah. So guy, guy, guys from America, he's a uh, he's coming as our number two this season. And Bravo got shipped off. So I feel like if the hype around him is real, he'll put pressure on Edison. And we've seen when we got a quality backup to Walker, how much he pushed Walker. Like Walker excelled last season because mm -hmm. um, he had actual competition behind him. And Edison could, I mean, if this guy provides some decent competition, yeah, you know what I mean, it could. It's better. It, Best for both of them. Yeah. It's, it's a good thing. It's always a good thing to have good competition. And Zach Steffen came out, I think it was today as well. Or like, he, or might have been yesterday, but he did like an interview with City, um, like a YouTube video. And he, he said, he said in there like about how there's, there is competition in training and that, but mm. it, they're both going to benefit from it. Not only that as well, I think 
When when every time Bravo played, most City fans were like, you know what I mean? Yeah, they didn't yeah. really want to see him there. And that was sad for Bravo because, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, he's a human, isn't it? But every time he went on the pitch, <laughs> you know, we was all crapping ourselves thinking, please don't shoot, please don't shoot, you know, for the opposition. Because if they did, it probably was going to end up in a goal, unfortunately. I mean, he was good at penalty saving, fair play. But you know what I mean? He went through a period like where every shot was basically Yeah, wasn't it like 11 games where every shot yeah. on target, the first shot on target in every single game was a goal? Yeah, but... Basically, the fans lost confidence in Bravo, and if we've lost fan uh, confidence in Bravo, the, the defenders, the midfielders, probably lost you know uh, faith in, faith in him as well. So no one really trusted him anymore, which is like I say, it's sad. You know, what I mean, you don't want to see that, but that's what happened. So we needed a fresh face. I'm quite excited. You know, what I mean, when we sign when we sign players, most of the time when you sign a player, you you, you know who they are. You know, what I mean, you sort of you know you know you know what you're getting. Even when you sign players like Fran Torres, you've not really seen that much of. But you like you sort of you know what they're like you know what I mean you, you've seen a few games, uh, but I've never seen Zach Steffen play at all. No, um, I'm, not. I'm, I'm really excited to see to see see him play. You know that's mad because he's a goalkeeper. You know like, you're excited to see a goalkeeper play, but I'm, I'm genuinely excited to see see what he's about. You know how's his how's his technique on the ball? You know what I mean? Can he can he stop the ball from going in the net unlike other goalkeepers? So yeah, I'm excited to see him and uh, yeah. American, isn't he? Not, not an American player for ages, have we? I know, absolutely wild. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's exciting, exciting players for for the match. Mm. Um, moving on then from Zach Stefan, uh, we have Tommy Doyle, someone that we have seen play for us. Mm. Um, he looks decent. He looks decent. Um, could we see him play tomorrow? I think he probably will play. Uh, Gundogan's obviously still out, and he's not going to play Rodri, so you know, he's probably going to start. Um, it's massive year for Tommy Doyle. He's got the story. Everyone wants him to succeed. He supports City as well. But it's it's difficult for him, I believe. I think it's more it's harder for him than someone like Foden. And the reason is is because Foden can be shipped out anywhere on, on the pitch in, in terms of the attacking position. You know what I mean? You can put him up top, which, you know, for a moment in the Wolves game, he was running around as a striker and Jesus went to the right wing. You can play either wings and he can play the attacking it's midfielder. That flexibility role. has, isn't it? Doyle, I don't know how much flexibility he really has, so it's it's, it's a lot harder, and his game opportunities will be will be more limited for for that fact. So he's got to take his chance. He's got to take his chance, and I'm 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 hoping and praying that you know he puts in a real good performance. Um, you know he's tidy on the ball, keeps the ball, and, and you know if he joins the attack, try, tries to do something. But yeah, I'm really 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 looking forward to seeing him play again and seeing what he has to offer. But yeah, he yeah, had a massive season for, for Tommy Doyle. Yeah, I completely agree. It's it's huge for him. And uh, I think it will define his kind of like how his career will go at City, whether mm. or not we, we have to send him on loan to get some game time. But like I say, it's going to be hard because it's just the one position kind of yeah. player. It's going to be hard to get him in, mm. especially when you've got all these quality players in front of him. I think you're right. I think a loan move might... I think it's going to have to happen because... I'm not a massive fan of loan moves, um, but for him, I just don't see how he's going to get the game time to develop. Look, when Phil Foden was was first breaking in, he wasn't getting a lot of game time, but he was still coming on off the bench for five minutes, ten minutes yeah. here and there in the first season. Tommy Doyle, that's not going to happen with Tommy Doyle because of the position that he plays. So, you know, how much can you really learn on the training pitch? Obviously, you can learn a lot, but it's really the minutes on the pitch is, is, is where, you, in my opinion, you properly develop. So maybe a loan move... Might might be best, but low moves can also break you. So it's it is a real tricky one. We'll have to see how his career develops. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to to seeing Tommy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Really looking forward to seeing Marvin. Uh Next, then is is the man you mentioned him before. Uh, it's Ferran Torres. Mm. Uh, I'm well excited to see this guy play. We he had like no impact in the game against the Wolves because he only came on like he came on with like ten minutes to go, less than ten minutes to go. Uh, but one thing I did notice when he first came on, like when he was on the pitch, he does look like Sane. Like that, his demeanor, his body language is very Sane again. Yeah. So, it, but that can only be Sane with quality. So it can only be a good thing. And I'm really excited to see because the fluidness, like we said, we've seen Foden play a, a striker in a game. This guy we know can play anywhere across the front three. So I'm excited to see how we use that as well. Mm. And uh, yeah, I just I, I want to see. The quality that he's going to bring to this game, because mm. you know what I mean, I wanted to set the, I wanted, I wanted to set the the team alight. You know what I mean? I was going to say the Premier League alight, but it's the Carabao, isn't it? The man, he's only come here for the Carabao, so he's <laughs> got to go and win it. 
Yeah, I'm excited to see him as well. And with it being the Carabao, you know, Bournemouth are genuinely like a, a an open team. It should be an open game. You know, we should have space to, to, you know, to get into. So I'm looking forward to seeing what City can do with that space. I'm looking forward to seeing our midfielders trying to create space. Banabe, he's probably going to get some game time. You know, people who've watched this channel for a long time might might know that, you know, I, I'm not a massive fan of Banabe. I don't, I don't think he's quite got the quality, but it's going to be a massive night for him um, tomorrow to see, see what he can really do in a game, which should be quite open. Can he find space and what can he really do with that space? I'm hoping to be proved wrong there, of course I am. Um, and Ferran Torres is another player that I'm really looking forward to seeing play. Obviously, we just signed him, 20 million, bargain price. Um, and again, he's, he's going to get what he's going to get a lot of one on ones. So I'm hoping that he doesn't just cut back in and pass it. I want him to take on their fullback. I want to I want to see what skills he's got. I want to see if he can beat a man. Um, and I want to see see if he can uh, get himself a goal. Can he live up to that 21 shirt? Oh yeah, no, that was weird, wasn't it? Big, that was a, that was a weird thing. situation seeing him because it hadn't really processed seeing another person in the twenty one shirt. And then when I, when he came on, I was seeing him. I was like, ooh, I set you back a bit. I was like, ooh, what? Mm, yeah. But let us know who you guys think in the comment section below. Who do you who are you most excited to see play um, against Bournemouth? Um, who? Yeah, go on. Because we're not doing predicted lineups or scores because we don't know who's playing. Who, who are you most excited to see? Me. Uh, I'm Liam Delap. I want to see yeah. how he fares in the first team. And then the second to that is Zach Steffen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Liam Delap's a good one. For me, it's got... I, I think it's for me, Tommy Doyle or Ferran Torres. The reason I'm excited to see Tommy Doyle is because this is a massive, massive game for, for him. And uh, this is a massive season for him. We're all hoping that he can do it and break through and, Definitely. and you know... Follow on, to the, you know, in the footsteps of yeah, I mean, his grand, grandfather's. But this is a this is a massive season, and he has the story in it. The he's, story isn't enough. He's in though. everyone's heart. The story isn't enough, and that's that's the that's a cold that's a cold fact. But it's absolutely true. You know what I mean? You can't just get in on a team on a story. You've got to get on on your ability and performances. So, I'm I'm hoping and praying that he's got it in his locker, um, and he can carry it on because you know he's got the story, and what a story that would be for our football club and for him as well. Um, so yeah, let us know what you think in the comment section. Who who are you most excited to see uh, playing against Bournemouth? Make sure you join us for the live watch along, and we'll be live from around quarter past seven. Yes, uh, quarter past UK seven time. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll watch it together. And if we get through, then it's a you know it's a trip to Millwall or whoever they've got to play. I'm not sure, uh, but yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. I'm buzzing for the live stream. Should be sick. We got a. Uh... I mean, it's because we refine our new our new look live stream. We've got a new look live stream now, and everything is clicking into place. Kind of our last live stream was kind of like a, a reset, so we had some technical issues. But as you can probably see by this video and the, by how Lewis's camera looks, we've kind of ironed everything out. Lewis is looking fresh, I'm boy. Looking fresh. Look I'm how not, clean that I'm camera is, man. He's I'm got, not yeah, head. he's ready. <laughs> 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 he's ready for the hood. Oh, no. He got it. He got it. He's cleaned it up. He's cleaned it up. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Smash the like on the video if you did enjoy it. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And hopefully see you at the live watch along against Bournemouth. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you later.